That brick of the Tower of Babel was made out of clay. So that brick represents the human being. So one brick is me, the other brick is my neighbor, the other brick is the other person, and so on and so on. So we came and said to ourselves, we will build a relationship between one another where God does not exist in it. So when we come and build a relationship between ourselves without God being in the equation, what is between the relationship is, is felt bitumen. It is absolute disaster. Any relationship, any relationship that is built without God being in, in that equation, that relationship will not last because it is only through God that we are able to have a relationship. Without God, there is nothing, there is no relationship because a relationship is only made possible where love, true divine love, is the foundation of that relationship. So where the relationship is built outside of divine love, it is an absolute false relationship and it comes from the enemy and the end result will be disastrous. You cannot stick the asphalt on the brick that is made out of clay. We cannot have relationship between us as humans without our creator, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is the divine God. Only one, there's no one else. So these people wanted to do it their way. No God, look around us my beloved, the 21st century. I call the 21st century generation a godless generation. It is a generation where God is absent in it. We are trying to build relationship with one another with no God in it. We are saying there is no God. And even if there is one, we don't care about him. We will do it our way. What did Karl Marx say when the founder of communism? And I can see governments that are supposed to be democratic governments. Today they are implementing nothing but communist ideologies. Karl Marx, you know what he said? He said, our father who art in heaven, stay there. He challenged God, this lost soul atheist, evil Satan worshiper. He said, our father who art in heaven, stay there. You are God in heaven and I am God on earth. This is the Tower of Babylon. I am God on earth. I'll do whatever I want, however I want, whenever I want, with whom I want. Isn't it the case of the 21st century, my beloveds? Isn't it? So what happened? But the Lord, <laughs> these people have been deceived by Satan. They think they can do whatever they want. Those so-called elites, the secret societies that are trying to control the world. You have been deceived. You have been blinded by Lucifer, your God, your false God, Satan, whom you worship. But your God, remember, is under the foot of my God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All glory to his holy name. So, but the Lord, he said, I'm not going to let these people do whatever they want. I have given them freedom, but their freedom is not unlimited. It is finite. It is limited. So are we going to go down and we're going to confuse their language? Listen, please, people, don't ever think that the day will come where you're going to say you can do whatever you want. That day will never happen. Governments, you need to listen. The day that you think you can do whatever you want and get away with it, that will never happen.
will never happen. Because there is only one I am, the I am, the only true divine God in heaven that is in control of everyone and everything. And Satan who established his empires on earth, that Satan is under the foot of Jesus Christ. So think about it, my beloved people. Think about it before it's too late. So they got scattered and the tower was never built. Went up a little bit and stayed there and gone, never to come back. That tower surfaced up as the writer of the book of Revelation, John the Beloved says, in the future, this har woman, this harlot woman will appear in the future as the mystery Babylon the Great. So the Tower of Babylon is going to surface up in the end of times. And the Tower of Babylon of the end of times, which is the 21st century, our time and age, is nothing but the United Nations, so-called. Isn't it a tower? It's a building. <laughs> oh, it's pretty identical to the Tower of Babylon. It's another tower. And it's called the UN. I'll leave you with this. In the United Nations, the only thing you are allowed to talk about is human rights. There is no one that has ever come to say God's rights. Everyone in the United Nations speaks about human rights, human rights, human rights. No one talks about God's rights because they, they have made a name for themselves. They build the tower against God. And they made a name and this tower, they said, is gonna, the head of it is going to reach the heavens. We're going to be God on earth. You are God in heaven. You stay there. None of your business. We will run our affairs on earth as we please, not as you please, God. So all you hear in the UN, human rights. Somebody wants to go out in the street naked, they have the right. Somebody wants to change his sex, they are right. It is human rights. They can do whatever they want. Because since there is no sovereign God, since there is no heavenly uh, intervention, there is no divine law, well, you become your own law. You do whatever you want. And what is more beautiful than this? What is more pleasant than this? What is more eloquent than this? I am so free. Freedom, democracy. Wow. They talk about human rights. Nobody speaks about God's rights. If you speak about God's rights, they will stone you to death and they will kick you out. The Tower of Babel back then in history, it was all about human rights. So what is the Tower of Babel? Me. And what is me? My rights, not God's. And today, everybody's speaking about human rights. Nobody talks about God's rights. No wonder we are living in hell. When any human being, this has got nothing to do what kind of a religion you have. This has got to do with the true divine God. This true divine God, I profess and confess is Jesus Christ. And I will die for this. I'm willing to die for my Lord. Anytime. I will never blink my eyes. Jesus is the only God. There is no one else. This has got nothing to do with your religion. It's got to do with the true divine God, the creator of all. The creator of all. Today, they're talking about human rights. When you do things your way as a human being, do you know who is ruling over you and controlling you? 100% Satan. 
Don't ever think that you can be free on your own and do whatever. This is a delusion. Satan has deceived so many people. There is no one free. You were never created to be free on your own. You need to be under the guidance of someone, either God in heaven or Satan in hell. You choose. But for you to be on your own free, please get it out of your head, it doesn't exist. That is a biggest lie ever to exist. You are not free. Either Jesus rules over your life or Satan trample you under his foot and enslave you.